So two years ago, I saw this thing running, and it was something that grabbed everyone's interest here at the show because of what it was doing and what it was what was happening with it. And this year, you've this is Mel from and why not and, and why, not? why not? Yes. All right, Mel. I guess I should first say nice to see you. Nice to see you too, Dad. Nice <laughs> but but this thing it, it's got some stuff added on that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. So why don't you just give us a little. Uh, story and tell us what you've added to this to make it even better. Well, the machine always was a, a, a number one thing to get developed and we got it, we finally got to to where we got it down to, uh, it, it's running quite well, actually very well. So then now we've added a feeding system to make it even run better, to give it a constant flow of wood uh, so that it just runs nice and smooth. Non-stop. Non-stop, exactly. So we built a, a, a hopper with a live belt on the bottom that has a, it, the hopper is capable of holding a minimum uh, without putting any sides on it, 1.5 cubic, uh, 1.5, uh, a cord and a half of wood. Cord and a half. A, a real cord and a half of wood. And then a elevator, a conveyor that takes it into a cleaner, a tumbler that, that cleans the wood. Now the tumbler is uh, fully adjustable in height and in speed, so you could get your retention time in there to clean your wood perfectly, or as clean as you could get it. Or if it, if the wood is fairly clean, you could just speed it up and send it out through it lift, through. and it feeds it into into the uh, uh, the turntable or let, uh, that sorts the wood, lines the wood up, and it feeds it into the conveyor. And it's the the feeding system is run by a sensor, a sonar sensor that turns the feeding system on and off as the machine needs wood okay. auto automatically all by itself so it can just run yes on its own yes and now the the hopper size was designed that that uh, it, it will hold enough wood without putting any extensions on it to run the, 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 the packaging machine will run for an hour before you have to fill it so you can get uh, we make 1.5 cubic foot bags in in uh, Canada at home in Alberta uh, a lot of people here make uh, 0.75 cubic foot bags, so it'll, may, it'll hold 180, 200, uh, or enough wood to make 180, 200 bags of wood. And that's that's one thing I, I noticed when I two years ago, you were running into boxes, you were boxing the wood. Yes. And now you're bagging it. We do. We could do it all. Oh, yeah. We could do it all at at simultaneous at the same time. The, oh. ma the machine is designed to uh, uh, bag wood. In, in polypropylene bags, uh, BOPP bags, yep. mesh bags, and boxes. And you can do it all at the same time. You don't have to do, there's one adjustment has to be made, that's yep. it. So there's no swapping out of the different no. heads or anything? No. And you could also make different sizes of bags, two different sizes at the same time. Because it's a dual-headed a, a dual headed machine, so you could make 1.5 or, or one cubic foot bags on one side and you can make 0.75 oh. cubic foot bags on the other side as long as the wood is the same length and the same species. Yep. So but what what is the length of the wood today? Today the wood is 13 inch. It's 13 inch. Uh, it's okay. uh, th this machine is designed for 13 inch, but we could change uh, we design the heads for the customer. So if if uh, you're the customer that needs 11 inch wood at no extra cost to them, we just build the head for 11 inch wood. For 11, and okay. if you need it for 16 inch wood, well, we build it accordingly. Okay. So, so it can, it's, it's, the range is, it can vary. You can get it for whatever size you want. Yes, but we have, if you're changing sizes, you have to change heads. Right. But I mean, like, if you know you're doing 12 inch wood, you can get 12, the heads for 12. That's right. Yep. And we have a, we do have a customer in Quebec that's doing 12 inch wood. And, and oh. that's all they do. I've, I've been saying that the wood is starting to get shorter, I think. Well, a lot of the wood is designed and the packages are designed so it fits on a pallet and it, stay, and it, it stays around the side of a pallet <clears throat> for shipping reasons. Oh, if yeah. it hangs out on a pallet, the shippers or transport companies won't take it. So it has to be within the pallet. So here we are on the, the control side. Yes, this is the control. So this is the main, uh, the main control panel. This is the main control screen. Uh, computer, we haven't got the machine turned on right now. We should turn it on. Anyways, all the all the settings are done in here, and now we preset the machine for the customer. When when the machine is delivered, uh, I or my or my son flies out, uh, and we set the machine up, which only takes uh, a couple hours. 
and then uh, then we spend four days with the customer at no, no cost to them that's learning how to, to do we everything teach, we teach the people how to run this machine so all the controls that are in this computer screen which is all touch touch screen you don't have to you just touch different things yeah and it, it tells you and uh, what's going on. It also counts bags on either side. You can set your length, uh, uh, size of your bag on a, just by pushing a button yeah. here, uh, either side. So uh, you, 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 at the end of the day, you know how much you made. Exactly. Yeah. Each, you know how much each operator has made. Oh, each side. side. Yeah. Who's doing more? Exactly, <laughs> it's a race. Yes. Yeah. So nice. if you got, if you got a, a, a high production fellow on one side and a pokey fellow on the other side, <laughs> uh, we got a problem. <laughs> and I see right here, North America's first automated fire road packaging. Yes. And that's that's the key is you, you basically load the wood in and, and go. Pretty well, yes, it, it works. You, the operator still has to put the bag on. Right yep. Here, and then when, when the chamber fills, Gets down, it comes down to here, and this yellow light will flash. He steps on this pedal here, and that pedal operates the, the head. It opens the bag right up, stretches it wide open. That paddle comes up underneath to hold the bag to support it. And uh, he pushes the button, and the wood goes bang into the bag. The key to this machine is the wood must be cut to the right length. Yep. So this is a 13 inch head. If you cut 13 and a half inch wood, it will not go into the head. You got problems. Yes. So, but if you what about cut, 12 and a half? No problem. Okay. So 11, under. 11 and a half, no problem. But I mean, if you're set for 13 and you've gone down to 11, that's fine. That's yeah. right, yeah. Okay. But you can, and not too many pieces either. <clears throat> yeah. You know, the odd piece, which is fine, because you do not want to waste, uh, you know, your block right. wood is 11 inches <clears throat> long, split it, package it. Yep.
right, so Mel, thank you again. Thank you. Good seeing you, and great seeing this machine run, and I, it's it's very impressive. Yes, thank you. Okay. And yeah. I like the color. I like blue. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that. Yes. <laughs>